I'm breaking with my tradition here to answer a question about the book of Revelation, which I usually don't do because my basic understanding of Revelation is that uh, a lot of people uh, get in a lot of trouble, including Christians, and we win in the end. I mean, those are the things that I'm really certain about about the book of Revelation. Other than that, there's lots of variation. But the question here is, um, is the book of Revelation, or does it describe a literal event? That's the way the question was put to me, and it, there's a, a vagueness in it. So let me answer it two ways. It does describe a literal event in the sense that you're, if you take the book of Revelation as a whole to describe the end of the world where Jesus returns and the problem of evil is solved and, and, and the, the goodness is restored to the world and, and, and there's a whole new heavens and new earth, that event is going to happen. Now, does it happen literally the way the words throughout the book of Revelation describe it? And the answer is clearly not, because there are no dragons that are going to be falling from the sky. Uh, there are no lampstands that are going to be put out. Uh, there are no bowls of things being tipped out, the bowls of wrath, etc. This is figurative language to describe something that is literally true. Now, trying to figure out what exactly those figures of speech are describing, that's difficult. The book of Daniel enters in here, um, and, uh, and, and looking closely at the history of the early church uh, to see whether some of these things might have been fulfilled in the typology that's described there in Revelation. These are all legitimate questions, and frankly, I don't have the answers to those questions. I think Revelations is a very difficult book, and the important thing to keep in mind are the the two details that I mentioned at the beginning. It's going to be a rough time for everybody, I think, including Christians, who give their lives. They did not love their lives even to the death. The book of Revelation talk about the saints who's, who surrender their lives to be faithful to Christ. And the world is judged in massive ways. I think all of those things are true. How that plays out there are a multitude of opinions of well-respected people uh, that have a high view of Scripture. I have my own particular viewpoint about how some of that works out, but I'm not going to champion that here because I, I, it's too hard to pin down. I'm just going to say that we should be careful that um, a lot of these images are not literal, they're metaphorical, and they do indicate something that is going to take place that's literally true. The best thing to keep in mind, though, and I think the blessing of the book of Revelation that's promised, is a reminder that no matter what it is that we're experiencing here, no matter what hardship or what tribulation or what um, suffering or what persecution, that there is an end, and the end is glory for those who are faithful to Christ.